Hi, everyone listening to us right now and wherever you are stuck in, we are there with you. And um, exciting times because we're kicking off a new series on Radio Zora. It's uh, Digital Diamonds time. Hello, and we will uh, talk to Adam now to tell us all about it, who is uh, one of the founders and the manager of the virtual label. Hello, Adam. Hello, Sarah. So, yeah, thank you very much for the warm welcome and for the invitation. And, yeah, cool we're kicking off. I'm excited. It is. It is. So, so, first of all, before I even get to ask you about who Alec is, who Adamson is, and who Adams Gies, <laughs> <laughs> all about your alter ego. Um, so, let's talk a bit about um, Digital Diamonds, of course, and uh, what is exactly advanced electronic music, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I think everybody has a different understanding. Um, to be honest, like, uh, our first uh, slogan, uh, like our, uh, how do you say, mantra, or like this, uh, oh, I forgot the exact name for it, but you know what, I'm, what I yeah, mean, the like mo- the brand the motto. name. Yeah, yeah. The motto, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we started like around or a bit more than 10 years ago because um, yeah we like like techno music and we like psychedelic music but not only one of it but like a mixture of both yeah, yeah, so yeah. we saw there was not really there were not really many labels doing that kind of music so we decided just to make our own label and also um, the special thing about it was that uh, we decided to make it running under creative commons license mm-hmm. so not mm-hmm. a typical commercial label yeah. but more focused on yeah psychedelic techno and on the net label scene and yeah over the years it developed and changed i don't know if i'm uh, going too fast or if you want to ask us <laughs> about the present and the future but no, you can just it. talk i don't have to ask you anything <laughs> okay so i can tell a lot a lot because you can imagine 10 years many things happened oh, well, so yeah. actually just uh, to sum it up in a nutshell it's um that nowadays we're also present at Spotify and Beatport and all this yeah, commercial shops in addition because if you are not present there you are you are barely perceived and you yeah you are barely existing also in yeah. the scene so this is we also extended being there but also we uh, prefer Bandcamp instead of Beatport and we yeah. still are offering our music for free so it's just we expanded a bit our models of distribution and yeah regarding the music it has to be good and it has to be quality music so not like this standard um, standard music but something we have to resonate with it you know it has to be something special and meaningful and maybe also a bit different to other types of of music yeah and and, uh, okay and so how many of you guys are responsible for making this work because i mean who who was who started the whole whole uh digital diamonds in the beginning there was adam and (laughs) no there was uh, falker and adam yeah so we didn't eat any apple or something like that no we had <laughs> we just um, yeah kicked this off between two of us mm-hmm. Volker and me and um, then uh, we expanded our team um, uh, especially for outsourcing like activities that are not related to music because um Okay, yeah, so we're busy people and we want to focus on good music and not focus so much on business stuff and admini- administrative stuff and, you know, um, the boring. really fo- <laughs> the boring stuff that is also necessary, but it's not so, as you said, said, it's not so much fun. Yeah. So basically, mostly like the musical coordinators or directors are Volker and me. Mm-hmm. This is like the core team. Yeah. So basically, you would decide, you would have the last word, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to have that <laughs> priority. Yeah, because, <laughs> because otherwise, you know, you get into like um, un- endless discussions yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and artistic discussions. Yeah. And uh, this guy doesn't like the mastering. Can you update the mastering? And then, yeah, but it's a BA and it has to be like a homogenic mastering and na na na. And, yeah. you know, and yeah. so on and so forth. So we keep it like between the final decision between the two of us and we also have a cool workflow because it's like when i get demos or Volker gets demos then um if, if it doesn't if, if does if it doesn't pass by him or by me it probably won't release because we both yeah. have to agree that's on, so good on yeah. the music 
<laughs> have you had big disagreements? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let's say we have uh, historically um, <laughs> like a <laughs> different background or musically, a different, slightly different background. So, yeah, of course. I mean, we have... Um, we have a common taste but we also have like our own specific tastes but we also have like a common digital diamonds taste so mm -hmm. yes sometimes we have more discussions sometimes left sometimes where it's very clear and we say yes or we definitely say no <laughs> yeah. so it's always it always depends and there are also different criteria. it's um of course the song and the music has to be good it has to tell a story it has to be me that not like the standard uh, sound yeah yeah but also like in terms of mixing and you know sound design and those things and so it has to be emotional and quality and you yeah. mentioned um you mentioned hi history or historically <laughs> so so let's yeah so let's go uh, back a little bit um, and you also said you have different uh, kind of backgrounds so uh, what came first psychedelic or or techno <laughs> you know that, or techno <laughs> or, you know, what what um, what area do you represent in digital diamonds um, okay good questions i guess <laughs> Ooh, very good question i don't know if i have only one answer but i will, I will try to be uh, precise so basically Volker is coming more from um, like this uh, techno asset, techno background, yeah. like uh, let's say very 808, 909, like this analog sound and um, yeah, more uh, that he has been working on Fast Tracker that was like yeah. one of the first um, DAWs, um, mm -hmm. digital audio interfaces, uh, work workstations, sorry and um but very very basic and for me i i was coming more like from yeah let's say rock music drum and bass also hip-hop like a bit of everything then i had my first side trance party <laughs> <laughs> that was it <laughs> that was a game changer for me definitely yeah <laughs> at Waldfrieden in western mm. Germany oh yeah I and, heard about that <laughs> oh, it's a really nice place you have to yeah. you have to go there unfortunately yeah, they I, I was supposed to play there to play there end of April but yeah uh, I mean, for obvious reasons so the, not this April next April <laughs> <laughs> the, the event was postponed and will be yeah high in the autumn not high in the may but high in the autumn well we um, will be high either way anyway <laughs> anyway yeah high on our own supply yes exactly so getting back to your question yeah and so um i was more like focused on uh, psychic uh, side trends but also more like on the Scandinavic on Nordic oh, yeah. um, side trends, you know, like Sonkite, yeah. um, later yeah. and also Minilobe, Pups, yeah. and yeah, Midi Melit, Spiralians. I mean, was always a big fan of them. Yeah. What are now uh, Extravert? Like, what is Midi Melit's? Um, uh, Extravert is like Midi Melit's Midi Melit's before, but slower and a bit fatter. But <laughs> basically, you can still recognize them. <laughs> so this also is still a strong influence. And um, yeah, then over time, um, I also wasn't full on and this type of music. I mean, you know, Sidetrans also of is course. evolving and developing. Not Very every much. genre or sub, sub branch, but most of them <laughs> are developing and evolving. Yeah. So um, yeah, and so by now also the technique and audio engines and um, computers, performance, everything evolved. So also the sound evolved and um, yeah, so those are like our both historical backgrounds, <laughs> let's say, yeah. And, and I was also also thinking how uh, you guys, when you wanted to create Digital Diamonds, you had this idea of, of making Psy Techno or Tech Psy or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> but that was kind of like prophetic because what's been happening in the last five years is more and more mm. of uh, this kind of, I wouldn't even say sound, this kind of sound family, let's say, yeah. is, is uh, coming up. Uh, so that's kind of, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool thinking forward. <laughs> and, uh, and I was also Thank thinking, you. so in the 10 years, though, uh, have you felt, uh, you know, like big, maybe, or bigger changes in, in uh, your preference of, of this whole subgenre, let's say? Is it changing? Are you keeping it, uh, you know, uh, 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 respective of the roots you are trying to represent? <laughs> um, that's a good question. I mean... Um also multiple re replies on that <laughs> um so um first of all uh we are very happy that also this type of music is getting more and more known by 
other people outside of the Psytrance scene, but also like uh, within the old, uh, the, the not old school, but the Goas, the go typical yeah. uh, Goa Psytrance yeah. uh, people yeah. um, that also like like more technoish uh, sounds. But what I'm observing also that many producers or labels are also like a kind of bit streamlined, you know, like similar mm -hmm. sound that is like inspired by drum code techno, which is cool music. But at yeah. the end, sometimes it sounds a bit similar. Yeah. And this brings us back to us and uh, our music taste. So. Of course, our taste also has um, evolved or changed a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I said, we still like the old school um, acid techno, but also yeah. like some psi ingredients. Not mm -hmm. too much, but always mm -hmm. like a little spice here and there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, especially, yeah, what I mentioned before, it's uh, the the song or the tracks have to be have need to have an own uh, spirit or an own yeah. atmosphere to yeah. tell an own yeah. story and have some meaningful story not just like something that everybody else is doing let's say and also like the the mixing needs yeah. to be good because oh, yeah. this is also like we're sound uh, nerds you know and for us also like you know ah oh, the kick is not could be a bit more <laughs> or the sub bass is like a bit wobbly and muddy <laughs> and can you make it more precise and hi-hats and so on so yeah so this What's is it? like yeah. our, our let's say our approach not really changed the music changed a bit but we are still like let's say true to our initial values that we don't judge if it's like top-notch art or an underground artist yeah as long as the music is good yeah yeah and um, uh, how many uh, how many events uh, do you put on or do you concentrate on on um, on this uh, part of, of uh, label work as well um, do you mean like events like parties mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah, showcases yeah. and stuff like that Yeah, rather parties because of course you're a virtual label so I guess uh, yeah virtually you're everywhere <laughs> <laughs> but I was wondering <laughs> wondering how much you can uh, you know get the sound out uh, to concrete uh, places clubs locations yeah yeah that's a good question uh, as well um, so um, we did some events from time to time, like uh, label parties, like anniversary parties, like release parties, but yeah. only like, um, let's say, specific events, not mm -hmm. on a regular basis. We did, had also some, re uh, well, not true, we had some regular events in Lisbon as well for some time. Oh, cool. Uh, we had a showcase at Lost Theory Festival two years ago, and the last Lost Theory that happened, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. happen anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> And then there were, I mean, this is a bit spoiler, spoiler, we were... Yes, supposed, we love spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to do uh. a showcase at the big German festival that had its 25th anniversary last year. Wow. Maybe you know which one it is. <clears throat> If not, I can. Uh, it starts with A and ends with S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> as well, as well. Um, yeah, this year no, no Antares. So let's see if uh, we can make it happen next year. And yeah, regarding other events, we did some uh, release party here, also in Berlin in February. Actually, this was like a collaboration between Technosis and Digital Diamonds. Mm -hmm. It was a really small um, release party, like, you know, free entry and just come right. if you like the sound. And yeah, so this is also what's, what I really like to include, like, also people, especially from the scene, of course, but also people that are not familiar with this scene, because many times I observe when people listen to that sound for the first time, it's like, wow, what is this? <laughs> this sounds really cool. And this is, um, I've been a traveler for few years ago i've been traveling quite a lot and i've been wearing this t-shirt of digital diamonds you know like in i don't know new zealand and south america uh -huh. and south africa wherever and people came to me hey i know that logo hey i know that label oh, oh yeah cool. what do you know about it um, <laughs> and i didn't tell yeah. them anything you know that yeah you know. and then oh this is so good oh, i like the music and okay cool you know what? Well, so I'm one of the fans. <laughs> what? No way! Oh, I have to invite you for a beer. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, that's so nice. So yeah. this is really like really nice feedback apart from all this digital world we have been talking before. You know, like you have yeah. this. Okay, you got likes and followers and everything, but I mean, this is like really human interaction that you have also on stage. And so what I'm seeing is that our sound is also played on different festivals and spots of the world. 
like uh, in different events. Uh, I listen it also like in recordings from from sets played at the festival or in podcasts on whatever. And so I think um, the scene is quite, uh, how do you say, like not really scattered, but um, somewhere all over the world and it's growing and it's getting bigger. Well, yeah. not scene, yeah. but let's, let's say the people that like this type yeah, of music. Yeah, the community. Yeah, absolutely. The community, you know? Absolutely. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. And I think we're on a good way by now. Yeah. And let's see what the next years will bring. Exactly. And so tell me, how much time do you have with all this work going on for any other projects or what's happening uh, besides Digital <laughs> Diamond King? <laughs> well, um, so yeah, as I said, uh, Digital Diamond is consuming most of the time, actually, the label work. But um, yeah, I'm also working on Alec from time to time. But for now, Volker and me um, have this project, well, not totally on hold, but it's mm -hmm. like a second priority. Mm -hmm. And we are both working on our individual projects. So um, yeah, my project uh, is Adamson. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like Alec, but a bit slower and less melodic and um, uh, yeah, a bit more, uh, not, not so full, not so over, <laughs> not so mega psychedelic, okay. psychedelic but not too much. And Volker is working on, uh, started now a new project um, that is called Piece of Acid. Oh, and wow. uh, <laughs> because yeah, I told you he's like the acid techno <laughs> guy, and uh, his EP will be released probably in June, maybe a bit later, but we're aiming like for June. And I also, or we had also him in mind for one of the further podcasts mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. series, which we are again very grateful that we can be part of it, <laughs> which is super thrilled. <laughs> we are super thrilled about it. So, yeah. You can be quite uh, excited about it. And, so, yeah. Yeah. And what are you most excited about right now? I mean, of course, you just mentioned um, something uh, to look forward to. Uh, what releases are cooking? Uh, also. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot. <laughs> Too many. Yeah, it's so crazy because since, I don't know, like two years or three years, mm -hmm. We have like a pipeline full for the next few months and wow. before it was like, so we are basically right now releasing one release each month. Um, again, for us, it's very important that it's quality, not yeah. quantity. Yeah. And uh, next releases, okay, so many spoilers here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I will have to check because I don't have all of them in mind. But the next one that will be released yeah. this month is uh, one released by, do you know, One Million to Toys from Israel? One Million Toys? Oh, not yet. Uh, you will know him yeah. and you will love him, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> then we have um, another album from Point in the making. I don't know if you know Point, but it's very, very, this guy is really a really talented producer, but he's not playing gigs at all because he just oh. hasn't half the time, but yeah. he's very like like a machine, you know, and really quality. Like, yeah. he's just like like in a bakery, you know, like, yeah. hey, next bread is ready, take, 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 really. <laughs> wow. But it's hard to reach as well, this guy. Then we have uh, one guy that is Portuguese but now living in Switzerland. His name is Cosmic King Snake. Oh wow. Uh, also <laughs> very promising. Um, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, new uh, so this is like a also on a new compilation but this still has has some time. Then I told you already about piece of acid EP. Yeah. yeah. Um, that which is Volker. Then we have, I don't know if you know, Ali Cat. Yeah, I think you had also a special about him. He's from yeah, Australia. Yeah. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. He also came out of nowhere and he's like so good quality. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I also uh, saw him listed uh, among the many, many members who <laughs> on your <laughs> Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working on a remix EP of this guy. Oh, cool. Well. Yeah, yeah. And um, then we have also another EP by his mate. Yeah, it's called Hinamo or Hi. So I would spell it in English. But they also had the collaboration Alakat and Hinamo, uh, which we released uh, last year. And this is now like the solo EP of Hinamo. Nice. Um, I think I didn't 
tell it in the right chronological order because <laughs> I mean there's still so many things that can change and um, maybe and for other mean, reasons. Maybe yeah, the people you know. should follow Digital Diamonds. That's the point. I, mean, come on. <laughs> I think this is the best because actually we usually don't spoil it. You know, it's I mean yeah, we are like yeah. really in the exclusive privilege to. <laughs> To, to get the news, to get really the hot news, <laughs> and the breaking news. But I mean, still so many things can change and can be postponed and shifted or whatever. Exactly. But this is like, for now, uh, for, for today, like the, the plan that we have for the next, I don't know, <laughs> next till end of the year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Ah, and we have also a lot of podcasts mm -hmm. planned. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you are interested also in our yeah, podcast yeah. series or... So we have, I'm just checking now our tool here because I just don't remember all at once. So we have, uh, we have podcasts by Flembas from Portugal. Probably you know them. Yeah. Maybe not. If not, you should know them. Then yeah. I have a podcast by Jedidia. Oh, I don't know how to spell it. Sorry, excuse uh -huh. me, mate. Jedidia, I guess, uh -huh. <laughs> from Australia. Um, then we have one from Diamandi from mm -hmm. Stockholm, also a very talented producer, which released also on Digital Structures. Uh, and we have Arnold from Mumbai, um, that also released on Subhub Records, mm -hmm. and did a release for us as well, and an Adamson podcast. Super. And Super. a podcast by a Spanish DJ, Flo Dario. But um, yeah, let's be and, excited. Let's stay excited about it. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and last but not least, because you mentioned uh, all of these things that you are uh, putting out there and, and working on, um, do you look for the music or the music finds you? You know, well, it's always important. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's a bit of both. Before, mm -hmm. as I said, since two years, it's like coming to us. Mm -hmm. Actually, w well, way more than it was yeah. before. Yeah. Um, and let's say by now, it's well, we get also a lot of demos, but by now it's it's like a really, flow. Yeah. It's I, I cannot tell I cannot tell it in percentage, but I guess yeah. it's yeah. more coming to us than than we are looking actively. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think yeah. so. This I think this is also like a com I take this as a compliment because when Absolutely. also people, newcomers, or also known artists, wants to release on our label, this is like what? I mean, you could release anywhere. Yeah. I mean, we are also not a s that small label, neither. But yeah. it's still yeah. like I think we are doing something good because it's, otherwise the people would not like drop demos to us. It's yeah. very good <laughs> validation for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, yeah, and last but not least, uh, we are going to hear the very first digital diamonds selection here. So, what would you like to highlight about that? Yes. So, um, I mean, obviously, uh, Digital Diamonds was founded by Alec, which Alec, as I said, is the project uh, of Volker and me, which is now a bit second priority but uh we released over the years so many tracks and we had so many remixes and did so many remixes so what i did is um i prepared a exclusive producer set for you guys oh uh, yes <laughs> to, <laughs> With, to, to crown the spoilers it's very to crown the spoiler yeah <laughs> i hope it's not like too much uh, egocentric like starting with Alec, but I think it makes sense because we talk of course. like about the label in general, we talk yeah. a bit about psychedelic techno and so on. So I yeah. thought it also makes makes sense that um, yeah, I, I give you an overview what what is our sound or our understanding of psychedelic techno and formerly we called it also tech trends. Yeah. Or the, the term was tech trends and it's a bit like um, an overview over all the years. So not only in latest tracks, but also a few older tracks that's, but that fits into the general flow. Yeah. And there are 90 minutes of pure Alec wow. psychedelic techno power. So wow. <laughs> very, uh, also variated. It's not only one style, let's say. There is, it's very vivid and dynamic. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm hoping that people drop also interesting feedback on it and yeah that they just enjoy the music 
Well, thank you very much for spending the time with us right now for launching this uh, Digital Diamond ser series on Radio Zora. Uh, guys, uh, listening, uh, the best is about to come. Some really <laughs> advanced electronic music <laughs> uh, from Alec. So um, thank you. And I, I guess uh, we will be back uh, with some Digital Diamonds in the future as well. I mean, interview wise. <laughs> I hope so. Looking forward. Yeah, be really keen. Yeah, thanks a lot, man, and all the best to you until we meet on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, hopefully very soon. Hopefully we don't yeah. have. To, well, probably we'll have to wait till next year. But I mean, what is one year compared exactly. to? Exactly. I mean, imagine, imagine the energy is brewing. Oh um. yeah, I was. You know what? I actually imagined how people have to really flip out when the first time they're oh, open yeah. air and this fat sound system, the bass massage and everything. Because right exactly. now, I mean, okay, you got all these video streams and everything but it's come on it's same. on the screen you know it's right. on the screen you don't you don't feel the heat you don't smell the air you don't feel the bass and so yeah I'm also yeah. really looking forward <laughs> it will be great for the dance <laughs> for floor sure. yeah for cool. sure all right dear thanks a lot man again and guys don't go anywhere it's Digital Diamond Series kicking off with a wonderful 90 minute Alec uh, journey yeah thanks enjoy bye -bye. thank you too bye 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 bye